Crypto winner is hurting Google's ad empire. Oh my. Again, more suits, more suits, and more centralization. During Alphabet's quarter three earnings call yesterday, chief business officer Google said the financial services company cut back on search ad spending during the quarter. Alphabet is Google's parent company, and they reported disappointing results as revenue growth dipped to 6%. They said cutbacks in the insurance, loan, and mortgage crypto subcategories, which makes sense because all of those industries are currently hurting. People don't have money to necessarily take out mortgages. Rates are so darn high. Um, people are not advertising for crypto, which makes sense. We're in a bear market. And again, he referenced the crypto pullback twice, but didn't provide any third further details. One of the things that I will, will, will say that's important is last bear market, we saw Google come out and I want to say they banned all crypto advertising. Like if you were a crypto company, you could not take out an ad, you know, those little pop-up ads you get on your websites or whatever. I feel like that was banned. That was illegal. So I think that this headline is going to be a lot different than what we're seeing now. This is just saying that people aren't spending as much, which on ads, which makes sense because because we're not only in a crypto bear market, but we are in fact in a recession in the United States and in other areas as well. I want to actually toss this one to Zach. Yes, I got it. All right, cool. Yeah, this one, congratulations. We found the crypto angle on this one. Markets across the board are down bad. Certain sectors especially are down bad. The ones identified there are the ones that stand out and crypto is among them. So I think it's interesting. We see the real world uh, effects of a downturn in prices, right? But also we're seeing it in other sectors across the economy. So the fact that uh, Google is feeling that pinch a little bit, interesting to note. And I think it's cool that it made its way into the earnings call. So credit to CNBC for finding the crypto angle here. It's going to be interesting to see like ultimately how crypto projects, be they, you know, layer one foundations or uh, application level projects that are building on these layer ones. It's going to be interesting to see how they sort of position their war chest for what looks like a protracted bear market, right? This is crypto winter. This is also kind of on the precipice of a recession, more broadly speaking. So whether or not these teams are well capitalized enough and smart enough and prudent enough to manage their treasury so they can get through it and be in a good position to thrive come next bull market is the question. And I think we're going to see little dribs and drabs of stories like this that indicate that spending on certain things is going to be down, right? And if spending on Google ads is going to be down, what are those other categories are within the crypto space? It's going to be interesting to watch. It's going to be interesting to see uh, what shrivels up and what thrives in these leaner times. But those are my thoughts. I want to toss it to Jen because I know she thinks cogently about marketing stuff. So I'm going to toss it her way. Yeah, I zeroed in on uh, the same things that you did, Zach, and same with you, Wendy. I think it's interesting that we have the crypto angle because Google banned crypto ads so long ago, and now they're saying, oh, crypto companies aren't spending with us. But this is a much bigger story, right? We are heading into a recession. Definitely during the bull market, there was a lot more money pouring into this industry. And we all saw, we spoke about it so much that a lot of that money was going into advertising to try and get this mainstream audience to to you know, experiment and play around with the products. But right now during a bear market, that mainstream audience I feel is a little bit reluctant to come into a market that's, that's down from when they first heard about it a few months ago or, or last year. And so this just this makes sense. It makes sense that crypto companies aren't spending on advertising. I know that it said it was down 6%. That wasn't like that much to me when we think about the macro economy and where we're heading. And so I think this just makes sense and is almost a little bit a road to boring. Crypto is just like every other industry now. Yeah. And Google's not the only one, you know, licking their wounds, right? There was a big Wall Street Journal story today, according to sources, that uh, Andreessen Horowitz, A16Z, was down something like 40% on its big, big, big crypto fund, right? So that's a lot of paper wealth that's being wiped off the books. So that means that Google feels the pain, VCs are feeling the pain, projects are feeling the pain, and people are going to need to adjust to that new reality to make sure that they can continue to build toward that thing that they're dreaming of. Will, down to you. Okay, last take. This is not yep. Road to Boring. I think this is actually Overreaction Corner. We have a new segment, okay? <laughs> Google saying in their Q3 reporting... It is overreaction quarter. Google saying in the Q3 reporting that cryptocurrencies were a reason that the revenue is down tells you where everything is going, right? Google gets its revenue from where? Ads. And if ads, if uh, cryptocurrencies are a big part of their ads, then Google has to go where the puck is going in the future now. And they're noting that. In the past, we've seen so many different cryptocurrency projects try to say they are working with Google. But I think 
Google's been waiting for something like this, right? Where you see so much intention from mainstream consumers to use cryptocurrencies that it's going into their revenue streams. Well, now Google is forced to integrate into crypto, forced to cater to it in a more meaningful way. Wendy, just like you said, in the past, there's been a lot of stuff around Google blacklisting or not allowing a lot of cryptocurrency stuff on its website, not allowing, allowing advertising. But if it's becoming a large portion of their budget, I mean, they have to cater to it. They have a growing team. They have growing ambitions. They're probably the most important internet company in the world. I do think that if they're saying that this is a reason for the revenues being down, then in the future, you're going to see more integrations from Google because it's only in their best interest. Zach, I'll kick it up to you as we get a break. Wendy had a last word. I'm going to toss it to Wendy, then I'm going to wrap. Oh. I got to say this too. I think that this is super important to note that marketing is very is something that's very frowned upon in the crypto industry, but it's something that is so accepted in global industries and like normal industries. Um, so Google coming out and saying, hey, this is really hurting our revenue that we're seeing a lot less crypto advertisements. That just kind of makes it or makes it seem to me that we're coming more into mainstream. If a big company like Google is like sad that they don't have this ad revenue because they're making money, that just goes to show me that this is going to be something that is going to be allowed in the future. One thing I do, one question I do have is I wonder why these public servants are not seeing this as a monetary gain possibility if Google's talking about it. Again, I talk about the regulators not wanting to work with us, which in fact, they should want to work with the crypto industry to get that taxpayer dollars, even though I think taxes are a scam. But again, you should always pay your taxes. That's all I got.